Strawberry Squad, guys, grab your freaking popcorn because some crazy shit's about to go down. Yo, Yo, stop copying me. No, you stop copying me. But I wanted to tell the Strawberry Squad. Kyle, if, if you don't stop copying me right now, they're about to see some serious shit. Look, how about I say something first and you talk right after? No, I say something first. You know what? I've had it up to here. <laughs> Hey, Strawberry Squad, before I was so rudely interrupted, that guy has got to stop copying me. David, you gotta stop taking the spotlight away from me, dude. I'm trying to have my 15 seconds of fame with the Strawberry Squad. See, look at them, dude. They're already bored. This video is turning into the anti-retention. Here, Strawberry Squad, guys, stay with me. Things are about to get interesting in just one second. So like we were saying, grab your popcorn because, guys, something absolutely ludicrous is happening in Los Angeles. It is literally all over the news. If you live in LA, you've probably already heard about it. We've seen a lot of crazy sh in LA, but nothing like this. Kyle, bro, you are wasting so much time building up the suspense, wasting time telling people to get their popcorn. I mean, would you just cut to the freaking chase? We can't wait anymore. David, you know me. I'm trying to build suspense because this is literally unlike anything we've ever seen before. Play the news clip. Coming at you live from the KTLA News Chopper. We are looking at the Los Angeles Zoo where the animal people were reported to have escaped over the last hour and are terrorizing the locals. Guys, as you can see the animal people literally just escaped the LA Zoo. You guys remember last time we spent the entire year helping the local authorities capture the animal people and bring them back to where they belong in the LA Zoo. Well guys, they just escaped and they are back with a vengeance, terrorizing the LA residents. And Stromedy Squad, you guys know it is up to us to stop them in their tracks and restore justice to the city of LA. We cannot have these animal people going around trying to take over the city. I think they're super mad because they're tired of being treated like trash kept in a zoo for our entertainment. I mean, guys, in a way, I almost feel kind of bad for them. Like, how would you feel if you were trapped in a cage for your whole life? But on the flip side of things, the alternative is that they completely wipe out the humans by any means, and we cannot let that happen, guys. So you already know what time it is. Here, David, get beside me. Three, two, one. It's monster bounty hunting time. So, Stromedy Squad, get this. We're gonna stop these animal people one video at a time. No need to fear. The freaking Stromedy Squad is here. Guys, I'm gonna need all the Stromedy Squatters we can get to put an end to these animal people. Guys, if you live near Los Angeles and you see an animal person, you gotta report it to us. Comment it down below. Let us know where they're at. But right now, we have some top secret intel about the octopus man. He is one of hundreds of these animal people that are out on the loose. Last seen in the Santa Monica Beach area. You guys already know where this video is going right now. There's a $10,000 reward. We need to bring this guy back alive at all costs. All right, Strawberry Squad, quickly before we head to Santa Monica Beach, I just wanted to show you guys we are standing right now outside of the LA Zoo where the animal people literally escape. They're all supposed to be in here. And as you can see, there's literally no one. You can go up there. This is like their entire hideout out here. Damn, bro. How did they escape this? It looks pretty fortified. I don't know, but seeing this place so empty definitely gives me the heebie-jeebies. This literally just happened this morning. But yo, let's not waste any more time. Let's get back to the car and drive to Santa Monica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got All right, Stromedy Squad, and we just made it to Santa Monica Beach, guys. You can literally see the fun fair over there. Guys, if you have played GTA, you know this place like the back of your... Bro, why don't you just say the back of your hand like every other regular human being does? Because we do things differently here on the Stromedy channel, David. After a thousand videos, you should know that. But, Stromedy Squad, Santa Monica Beach is absolutely massive, guys. I don't even know where to start. And so if there's ever been a time that we need to take up the drone, it's now. We know exactly who we're looking for, but we don't know where to start looking. He was last reported by the authorities to be scouting near the beach, which makes sense because he's an octopus, guys. And octopuses live in the ocean. I guess it's a trend with these animal people that they tend to hang out wherever it makes sense, depending on which animal they're trying to be. My question is, what kind of absolutely crazy lunatic do you have to be to grow up and want to dress as a freaking animal? Bro, I don't understand it. I mean, I don't think they grew up wanting to dress. I think they grew up as octopuses, as lions, as deer. I actually think these people may actually be the real life animal that they're trying to emulate. Because think about it, if you're a human, why the hell would you want to live in water? We can't breathe under there. Hello? Yeah, but David, they are literally in human form. Form. It's definitely a cult of crazy lunatics that actually really believe they are these animals. My question is, how do you even get involved in something like this? Like, where do you go join the animal cult? They must hold, like,
like weekly rituals and ceremonies for new people that want to join. Another question on my mind is, if there's one guy dressed as an octopus, could there be more? Or does each individual member of the animal people cult have to be a different and unique animal? I mean, eventually they're going to run out of animals. But anyways, dude, joining the animal people cult is literally the last of our concerns. Our mission today is how to put a stop to it, not how to join it. But if things do get out of hand and the animal people really start taking over, it would be beneficial to try to learn how we could potentially join these animal people, dress up in an animal disguise, and get some top secret intel from these crazy son of a... All right, Stromedy Squad, and for the one millionth time on this channel, we have liftoff on the drone. Yo, it's so crazy how I know exactly how to get around this place simply from just playing GTA. Like, look, that's literally the same clip in GTA, and then if you follow this road all the way up, remember it takes you to that military yeah, base? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you can steal the, the jets and everything. Do you actually think it's, like, accurate to how LA actually is? Like, if we follow that road, we'll get to a military base? Los Santos in GTA is based strictly off of LA. Like, you can see the whole downtown over there but we are not here to go sightseeing guys we are here for a very specific reason so we're gonna take the drone all along the coast here look how massive this coast is Jesus. like dude when the lapd put out the report that the octopus man was terrorizing citizens along the santa monica venice beach that could literally mean anywhere like look how massive that is i don't even know yeah. if this is a job for the drone dude like we might actually need a full-blown helicopter yeah at this i know point. but you know what let's just work with what we have i think the drone might be able to do the job just keep flying that thing around and stop complaining david you better watch your attitude today all right that's strike one two more and you're <laughs> okay okay get to the point all right all right all right all right dude we need to stop messing around dude if the city of los angeles is relying on us to bring justice and restore peace we can't be messing around like this dude yeah. we need our eyes and ears peeled okay so yeah let's just take it all along the sand here uh i guess we're gonna have to go person to person wait yeah I like mean, is this a person right here what even is that wait, i don't think that might just Some be garbage a, or yeah something? that just might be a piece of trash okay yo you gotta think like an octopus this crazy guy that's dressed as an octopus if he's really trying to be an octopus i mean realistically he'd be out in the water so maybe he's swimming so maybe it'd be worth like trying to take the drone and just scan along the perimeter like over the water right yeah i mean yeah we might as well check the water but i mean how far can the drone go? Because the water goes on for miles and miles. We might just run out of battery by the time we get anywhere close to where this guy could actually be. Do you think we could take the drone all the way to China? <laughs> no, David, okay, I'm joking, I'm joking. Wait, yo, 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 look at this. Bro, relax. What the it's hell? Just a tunnel, man. Yeah, but dude, I feel like this would be a perfect spot for the octopus man. If he was to be in the water, he'd want to be in the water, but he'd also want to be close where he can like spy on the locals that are, you know, mm -hmm. enjoying the beach, maybe going for a swim, and then that's where he'll pounce. Do you think you're good enough of a pilot to fly it in between that? Oh my god, that is that is super risky to try to get it in there. Hold on, let me try to see if we can see anything. Oh my gosh. Oh, damn. I don't know, guys. Can you see anything in there? Let me try to zoom it in. Oh, that goes far. Yeah, that goes really deep. That almost seems like clown territory. And we do not want to mess with those right now. One creature at a time, please. Okay, where should I start right now? Should I check the water? Should I check the sand? Or should I check the land? And we should definitely check the water sand area because you were saying that they try to live where the actual animal they're trying to emulate lives. So that would be the water. I think your best bet is around the beach area. Okay, dude, we're going to take it over into the water. But yo, we're near the water right now. And an octopus is not the only animal that lives in the water, right? And the octopus guy is one of thousands of these animal people so how many different types of species and animals exist in the water that means we could come across the shark man yeah. the fish man the crocodile man i mean i feel like more a crocodile man he'd be more in like swamp, swamp territory yeah. right but yeah be careful like speaking about different animals that live in the water you could run into lions you could run into panthers you know what i mean tigers david, david are you Even out of your freaking mind dude those are the furthest thing from animals that live in the water dude you gotta get your act together dude or to be honest i'm gonna have to fire you in these videos Bro, please don't fire me. This is literally all I got, man. Anyways, all jokes aside, no, you're right. If we do run into Fishman, what do we do? Do we change our direction of the mission to Fishman or we stick to the plan that we had from the beginning and look for Octopus? Dude, I say any animal person that we can find, we take them into custody right away. Right now, our mission is to look for Octopus Man, but the chances of us finding him are very slim. So wait, wait, hold on. Yo, wait, what is this? Oh, oh it's just like a rock. 
Okay. Oh snap, I thought it was like a whirlpool for something. Yeah, I thought it was like a boat or something, but yo, okay, here's Santa Monica Pier right here with the the rides. Yo, I kinda wanna go on the rides right now. I say we just abort this video no, and go ride the Kyle, roller coaster. Bro, you literally just mentioned that we need to save the residents of LA. We can't do that while we're on a freaking Ferris wheel. Okay, you know what, David? You're right. This is probably the first thing you've ever said on the channel that actually makes some sense. But yo, look how many people are here on the pier. Oh, oh my gosh, yo, there's a ton of them. Okay, if we're gonna scout any area, it should probably be the pier because this is where a lot of the people come and if we're thinking like octopus man and he's targeting the humans he's probably going to be lingering in this area like maybe underneath the pier here yo but what benefit does octopus man even have in terrorizing human beings if he escaped from the zoo maybe he should just go live in the water and carry on minding his own business what well, do dude, humans have to do with any of this well dude the animal people are tired of being captured by the humans so their number one objective is to take out the humans as we know it they want to completely take over the city of los angeles so they can finally live at peace and as much as i feel bad for them i don't want them to be locked up in prison cells they are literally humans themselves under that entire costume like how crazy do you have to be to dress up like that yo wait look yo look at the roller coaster yo, yo that looks lit bro that looks just like the one in gta i feel like i'm playing a game right now yeah dude that's freaking crazy look at this oh my god Jeez. yo we really got to go hit up this fun fair after yeah, this. yeah 100 percent. but yo stick to the mission at hand right now i mean yo maybe we should just look for a group of people that are running fearing for their lives right now if we can find them then we've probably found the octopus man yeah david honestly you bring up a good point but yo there are so many people here this is literally like finding waldo dude it's like finding a needle in a haystack i think our best shot at finding the octopus man would be to get a boat and go out on the water oh snap i mean do you have a boat booked or anything do you know someone with a boat well you see that's kind of the problem dude i don't know how the hell we're gonna get our hands on a boat well then why the hell would you make a stupid recommendation like that if you had no means of actually getting a boat are you just seeing things randomly at this point Okay, Strawberry Squad, guys, we've been flying the drone for like 15 minutes already and we haven't seen anything. I say we just go back to that sewer one last time, scout it out, and if not, we're gonna have to come up with a plan B. Yeah, 100%. Okay. All right, yo, I'm going over there right now. Wait, yo. There's no okay, way. Yo, yo, you were yo, right. Yo, how you do we right. get this lucky? Yo, dude, that's the octopus man. Okay, bro, bro, bro. Hold on. Let me just get a better view to make sure it is. Yo, I, I thought I saw his tentacles at the Jesus front. Jesus Christ, bro. Yo, you might have been right this whole time. These guys actually might be humans under this mask. Yeah, exactly, dude. Look at those shoes and everything. Wait, look. He's chasing the birds as if to say, like, this is my territory. Oh, yeah, get out of yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. I had a bad feeling about that tunnel. Yo, yo, look. That literally is the octopus, man. That you can see is, his face yeah, and everything. His face is disgusting. Oh, my God. Guys, this is one of thousands of animal people all across the LA area. Yo, let's keep an eye on this guy and see exactly exactly where he goes if he goes into that tunnel then maybe instead of us having to go in there and do the dirty work we can call the authorities and they'll come in and give us the ten thousand dollar reward just for finding his exact location yeah that would be a good idea but yo i say for now you just fly the drone around him and see what his actual intentions are I mean, bro, I why is he... oh my god look at his face you seeing his eyes he looks so angry yeah, bro why is he by the sewer I, I didn't think octopuses like staying around like sewage systems wait why is he putting his hood on oh. i think he knows the drone is following him right now look he literally has human hands and everything Strong Squad, I was right when I said the animal people are literally a cult of human beings like us that have gone crazy enough to think they're animals. I mean, what has to go through your mind to think that you're an actual octopus, dude? I don't think these guys are well mentally whatsoever, but bro, we have to know what we're dealing with when we actually go apprehend this guy. It's either we go ourselves on foot or we call the authorities, like you said. Which one is it going to be? Dude, I have no idea. David, I think we've come far enough into the video to know that we're going to have to be the ones to go in there, dude. And it's just, wait, oh my God, are no. you seeing his face? Yeah, Look, bro. I'm right in front of him bro that thing's disgusting he definitely knows the drones on him like he definitely knows yeah 100 percent. look i think he's even like looking around for it right now i think he's trying to like claim his territory like he's walking around yeah. making sure nobody's like spying on him wait what's he doing now is he like trying to get a drink of water or something bro, you know what's actually a good thing it's good that they don't actually emulate the traits of the animal like bro imagine we ran into a lion and they were as strong as a lion we'd have no chance yeah 100 percent. that's good i'm kind of glad that for once we're dealing with humans that are just crazy enough to be in costumes because it puts the odds in our favor. Wait, yo, look, look. He's running after those birds now. Yeah, dude, he's definitely just making sure that nobody comes close to his home and there's literally nobody around. So the chances are he's scared everyone off. Do you think the humans may have seen him and just kind of like backed off and said, yo, 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 this is all yours. You can take it. I don't think the humans would ever be willing to just let the animal people win like that, especially when they're taking things by force. Yo, we got to go stop yeah, this guy go, right go, now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right, bro, bro, yo, take this thing, take this thing. Okay, yo, it's right across over on the there. sand. Go, 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 go. Hold on, hold on. He's 
literally right there. The last thing we need is for him to notice us. Okay, okay, so yo, how do we do it? Because we're in open land right now. He's easily going to see us. That's the tunnel right there. Let's go over to that side and get a better view through the fence. Okay, come on. Go, go, go. You notice how there's nobody over here? Yeah, because they definitely are aware of what's in their area right now. Get here, get down, get down, get down. Quick, 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 quick. It kind of stinks over here. It smells like rotten eggs. Yeah. Oh, yo, look, he's right there, he's right there. Yo, what is he doing? To apprehend him, take him in, and send him back to where he belongs. Okay, we need a plan. Are we going in full guns blazing, or are we making this a stealth mission? I think we need to make it a stealth mission because we don't know how strong this guy is. Yeah, and what he's capable of. Here, I have a feeling he hides out in this tunnel, and he only just came out to scout who's around for whatever malicious intentions he has in mind. It could be minutes before he goes back into hiding, so we need to act now. Yeah, okay, let's go, 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 go. Oh, my God. Somebody's going. He's right there. He's right there. Hey, you! Hey, you're under arrest right now. We know you escaped from the LA Zoo just recently. Your days of terrorizing the LA citizens are over. Get on your knees. I should have known it was you, kid. The animal people are very familiar with your channel. And if you think you're going to take me into custody so easily, you thought wrong. Uh, David, it looks like we're going to be putting up a fight for this one. Yeah, this guy isn't going down easily. Listen, there's two of us and only one of you. We can either do this the easy way or the hard way. What's it going to be? I'm not going down without a fight. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Stay back. You pathetic humans thinking that you run everything. You think you could just lock us up in a cage for your entertainment? Look, I don't know who's under that mask, but whoever it is, you gotta snap out of it. You're literally a human too, wearing a costume. What kind of crazy lunatic do you have to be to be walking around the beach dressed like this? This is who I really am. This is who I've always wanted to be. Ever since I was born, I just knew I was meant to be an octopus. And if you're here to get in the way of that, you will die. Yo, this guy's literally threatening our lives, bro. It's time to take this guy in. Time to die. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Yo, yo, David! Yo, take him down, dude! Bring him down to the ground! Oh my god! Yo, we got him, guys! You stupid kids! You're gonna regret this! I may be outnumbered right now, but there's thousands of us! Yo, yo, yo! It's okay! We, yo, we got him! We got him! Yo, turn him on his stomach! Turn him on his stomach! <sighs> Oh my god. Strowman Squad, we got the crazy octopus man in custody right now. We're gonna take him back to the animal zoo where he belongs. Your days of terrorizing the citizens are long gone, buddy. This is not the end for me. When I get out, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna make sure you will never see another day. All right, that's enough, buddy. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you can tell it to the judge. Let's go, Strawberry Squad. We got this guy into custody. He's going straight to a 10 by 10. We're taking him back to the LA Zoo where he belongs, where we might be able to interrogate him and see where the other animal people are located. All right, let's go. Load him in. You won't get away with this. Load him in. Ah, come on. Watch your head. Get in the car right now. All right, Strawberry Squad. We got him in the car. That's one other crazy animal person off the streets. We're one step closer to that $10,000 reward. We just got to take him back to the animal zoo where he belongs. You All right, buddy. You're going in the hole for a long time. We're gonna regret this. We're not gonna regret shit. Yo, get him in there. Lock him in. You got it? Let me out. All right, chain that up, chain that up. Let me out. You're staying in here where you can't hurt anybody, so uh, you might want to make yourself comfortable. You guys are gonna seriously regret this. I'm gonna find a way out of here, and when I do, you're first on my list. <laughs> Oh my god, yo, he's trying to get out, he's trying to get out, you locked it, right? right? Yeah, yeah, I locked it, there's no way this guy's getting out again. Oh my god. Yo, he's literally trying to get out, but there's no way he can do it. Stormy Squad, this bounty hunting mission was a success. That is one animal person down. But as you can see, there are still so many empty cages left. This gives you an idea of just how many animal people escaped yeah, man. this zoo. Like I said, we're going to bring them back where they belong. One video at a time. Guys, if you enjoyed this, drop a like, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to go check out David's channel down below in the description. Stromedy Squad, this is Monster Hunters signing off.